Greetings and welcome once again to all the people taking the time to watch this video and follow this channel. It's me, the AFAL champ, the adult fan of LEGO champion, here with a set review. That's right, it's another haul. I, it's not another haul. I actually built something again. It's set 6277, the police patrol boat. Why don't we go ahead and check it out. Now, uh, this set, when it first came out, uh, I saw this set and thought, there's no way that I would ever buy that set. I had no interest in it. Uh, you know, originally it's sixty dollars. It's you know the price to part ratio would have been you know horrendous. It's like a, it's like a three hundred piece set, and uh, you know it's another cops and robbers thing. Um, you know, it just it wasn't. It, I didn't think it was for me. And then two things happened. One, uh, you know, I've been on this big uh, kick this summer on building ocean and boat stuff. And two, I found this on clearance, and on a pretty deep clearance, no less. So I went ahead and got it. You know, if I'm going to have a big ocean, I should probably have uh, a police force, and let alone, uh, you know, if there's going to be all these, you know, National Geographic scuba divers finding treasure for some reason, maybe the, there will be an actual thief or two trying to, f trying to steal something also. So that actually kind of makes sense in my little Lego world. Uh, and I was very present, pleasantly surprised by this. I, I really like it. So, uh, I'll go over the negative things first, uh, on a couple of these minifigures, like you can see on this guy here, you know, the white isn't quite printed, uh, well enough on there. I think the light yellow isn't quite well enough printed on this guy. Uh, like it's, it's a good print. I really like this guy's jacket actually. Got the 75 there, but, uh. I really like uh, the prints, they just need to be done in a higher quality. Um, this is just kind of a little thing that always bugs me on Lego vehicles of any kind. They just clip random accessories onto the outside, like a big police boat like this, and they just have handcuffs printed, you know, clipped onto the outside like this. Uh, same with, you know, a radio up here. Like, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. They do that with the cars all the time, too. Uh, stickers, as you can see there, instead of prints, although there really isn't that many stickers. And then this net shooter on the front, uh, that's, you know, never a real big fan of that. So, uh, those are the big, big negative things. Uh, you know, even on clearance, this wasn't a great price to part ratio set, but it was, it was, you know, acceptable enough, uh, for me to get. Now to go over the good things, and there were far more good things than I anticipated there being. First of all, there are five figures in this set, which I guess if you think about it as a $60 set, that makes sense that there would be that many. But, uh, you know, I try not to think of it that way because I didn't pay anywhere near $60 for this. So I got five minifigures and a shark, and the shark has nothing to do with any of this. Like, it's a cops and robbers set with a big animal, and, or maybe I should call that a medium-sized animal, but it comes with an animal that's cool and has nothing to do with this set. So... You know, I find that cool, or good at least. You know, there's some pretty good, like, again, outside of, like, the printing quality, the designs are pretty good. Like, that's five figures that I could pretty readily put into into my city, uh, especially considering I'm going to have a bunch of boats and stuff. You know, having more divers, more, and, you know, diverse divers always looks good. You know, it's a pat police patrol boat, so, like, I understand getting this big boat but it actually comes with quite a few kind of small side builds you got the underwater scooter or whatever you want to call this like propulsion thing that takes the 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 police diver around underwater you've got this bad guy build here which is pretty and again it's, it's small but it's decent for what it is you've got a safe inside the safe you've actually got let me try to get my get this open without just looking at my hand you got the actual gold ingot pieces instead of just the gold one by two tiles. That's always a good thing. I, I do wish that there would be like a shelf or something in there. Got a new print right there. That actually kind of doesn't make sense. You wouldn't have like an electronic keypad and an underwater safe, but whatever. Uh, actually, I expected there to be more than three stickers on this. The only stickers are where it says police on the side at each side of the boat and then that uh, front, front badge there. Uh, you got this is another side build, this little... Uh, like drone that attaches here again that's nothing big or, or fancy but it's it's something i mean this in itself is practically its own poly bag or it has been in the past to be a five dollar poly bag like imagine what all of these 
little side builds would be in addition to this. Uh, you can open it up to get people down in there. That'd be one other nice thing is if there was like an actual real door other than like a hatch like that, but again, I'm okay with it. I'm probably not gonna put anyone down there anyway. Uh, I like that this comes off relatively easily to get, you know, to access down into the lower cabin there. Uh, I mean, as a whole, I just, I like it. There's some relatively, you know, newer, unique parts. Those light yellow flippers, for instance, there's good face prints. A couple of them have dual, uh, you know, two-sided faces. Uh, you know, I like it. It's going to be, this is going to be relatively easy enough. I can just take this, this top part off and just put something on there and put like a searchlight or something like that's easy enough to fix. You know, if I, the, the handcuffs on the side bother me, I can just take them off. So this is all pretty good, much better than I anticipated. Uh, as a grade, I'm going to give it a B plus. I almost, I was very, very tempted to give it, you know, an A or an A minus or something like that. But I just, I just can't. That $60 initial price tag is just too much for me. Like I almost got scared off permanently for that. Even on clearance, it wasn't a great deal when you look at price to piece ratio. And again, I know, you know, that there's like a big animal. There's five minifigures. You got the big bo uh, boat hull here. But that price is just, it is just too much. Um, it's not a super complicated build. I thought it was a fun build. It was relatively easy. I mean, I think it's a five five plus, so it's not like you're building a modular or anything. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely glad that I like it. I think it'll fit into my city well and fit in with all the other boats well. So you can uh, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. Am I right, wrong, somewhere in between? What am I right or wrong about? You know, let me know what you're thinking. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Hopefully I hear from you soon in the comments. and Hopefully you hear from me again soon as well. And as always, thanks for watching.